You want to tell them where we are? Yes. This is incredible. We are at the top of Mount Everest. Top of the world, Mount Everest. Yep. One to the left, one to the right. We made it. We are at the location of a synagogue that they've just unearthed in the past two two decades. They've found this thing, and it has been almost like, like it's been covered. And so when they started digging up to build a hotel in yeah. the early 2000s, yes. they were like, hey, this thing seems important. It is. This is an old synagogue. It's a synagogue, Marcus. This was a synagogue. Remember all those jokes we just did. Okay, now that we have audio going, this section over here is like a bathhouse that had multiple layers and they found a second set of mosaics right over here. We'll go there. If you give us an answer to one of the questions in the comments below and it's not a right answer, you'll get a mosaic from here, the secondary mosaic. But if you answer correctly, you get the original mosaic. Original mosaic. Piece of that. These guys help me move. Whoever's first, hashtag first, mm -hmm. gets a call. Wow. To send you an actual column. You can sit on that column and think about us while we're in jail. Yep. Come to prison! <laughs> I wonder what prisons were like back then. Oh, probably a lot less good air conditioning. A lot less good air conditioning. Ladies and gentlemen, royalty right here. And Come on down to Auntie Anne's and try our world famous pretzels. We are back. Back at it again with the white man! We're here. Tyler has to go to the bathroom again. Always. Synagogue or not, your boy gotta use the rest of Synagogue or not. Synagogue waits for no man. When they started digging up to build a hotel in yeah. the early 2000s, yes. they were like, hey, this thing seems important. It is. This is an old synagogue. It's a synagogue, Marcus. This was a synagogue. A lot of people don't know that. Marcus Brown, Marcus everybody. Brown, everybody. Marcus. Marcus. Tell us about tell this. About tell this. us about this space. Oh, uh, they were gonna build a hotel, and then they found another hotel under it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> synagogue hotel. No, oh, this is oh, a motel. Hotel. That was a hotel. Oh, yeah, this is a was, motel. This was a motel. It's oh, good. We lost Marcus. Well, Pastor Marcus, everybody. He did great. He's gonna charge us for that. Send us the bill. Guaranteed. This town is called Magdala or Magdala, depending on Magdala. who you are. Magdala. We, we recorded. We recorded all of this just a minute ago, yeah. and it had no microphone on. So we'll play all of that for you right now. Okay, this is uh, a, a synagogue where yeah. Jesus actually taught. So the reason they think that Jesus came here is because he, he spoke at these in these areas and there's like a natural pass that he had to walk through and there's no doubt that he stopped here at this synagogue yeah. and taught. I mean, he taught, no joke, yep. Jesus sat right there on that little stone park bench and taught people in the synagogue. So there's a lot of places that they, they, they have a good idea that Jesus taught. This one, like he taught here, like he came here. There's there's no doubt that a rabbi didn't come through here and stop. Jesus would have stopped here. Do you want to say that stone? <laughs> That's what you're saying. Right, <laughs> you're saying. stone here is where they would lay the scroll. So Jesus would walk over here to this beautiful stone that's been preserved. He'd pick up the scroll, sit down, and read for, from it. A lot of what we've been reading out of Luke 4 on real change. There you go. That's good. Pastor, man. I just work in education. You're a pastor. Mary Magdalene, she she washed Jesus' feet, and yep. that probably happened right here. So this is called Magdala, and we gotta go catch up with our group. We're walking yeah. into the sun. Thanks, Marcus, for all of your wisdom. Wisdom at times and then misleading at other times. Yeah. This is a town. The reason why they also know that this is where Jesus taught is because this is a town full of fishermen. And you remember what the Bible says, who did Jesus hang out with? His disciples were fishermen. This is where they would go to church. This is where they lived. Like they were raised here in this little town. And it's right along the banks of the Sea of Galilee. And this is definitely where Jesus would have taught. He would have prayed. He would have had friends here. It's amazing. Come on down to Coleman Liquidation and get yourself a home. Or don't. I don't care. The sentence didn't come no. out fully for Ah, uh, It was great. One stop away from making your shopping experience more delicious. Auntie Anne's. Pretzel perfect.